Are we rolling? Check, check, one, two. Check, check, one, two. We're now we're rolling. Hi, everyone. Todd Rossnagel, Director of Communications with the Louisiana Conference with some more tech tips for you. Yeah, we've been talking a lot about live streaming and video conferencing and teleconferencing, but let's not underestimate the power of a graphic. We need to make graphics to share on social media. The graphics can be a prayer request. It can be an announcement, announcements about your live streaming services. Graphics are very, very important in the world of social media. But how do you make a graphic? It's difficult. Where do you begin? Some of you have Photoshop. That's great. That is like the Roots Chris Prime steak level. Top notch. But like Roots Chris, it's kind of expensive. So there's that. Canva. Canva is another option. That is like the Prime Costco level. A little cheaper, but still is a little tricky to use if you haven't used it before. So I have an option. I have an option that is essentially free. It, they have a free option, but you really should just step up and buy. I think it's like $4 for the pro level account. It's great. It's called Word Swag. Word Swag. It's an app. It fits in your pocket. You have a graphic designer in your pocket. It's fantastic. It's easy to use. It looks great. Let me show you how it works. All right, so here's Word Swag. And the basic idea here, folks, is really simple. What do you want to say placing that phrase, be it a Bible verse or an announcement, over a graphic? So there's a variety of different graphics that you can use. You can use an image inside your camera roll found here when you click on library. One of the best ways to do this is to go to the free photos that are available inside Word Swag. So let's go there now. So, so here are the free photos. And as you can see here, it's a variety of different photographs. And in many cases, they're just blank canvases that you can place uh, text on. So let's just choose one of these images down here. Let's say this sunrise. And when you hit the sunrise, now, now you simply add text. Double tap to change, change the text, and join us for Easter services live on Facebook. We're gonna hit done. All right, so now you see here all of these variety of different templates that you can use for this particular phrase, right? A lot of different templates, a lot of different styles that you can use. One thing I wanna point out about this particular image is it's very bright, as you can see here, the sun, and it's hard to read these uh, words because they're white. So to change that, you would go to colors and choose maybe black. Or maybe the image itself is just too bright, or maybe it's not bright enough. You can change the image itself. So we have a lot of filters here. You can change the color, you can change it to blue, you can change a wide variety of different changes. You can make your black and white, and you can also blur the image if you'd like. Um, you can also brighten the image or darken the image. So let's go back to what it would look like normally. And let's just choose black and we'll go back to a style. And that looks pretty good. So if you want to say this is your phrase, you can simply hit save and the image is saved to your camera roll. But let's go back, I wanna show you a few other things. Uh, let's say that, you know, some of the images that are built into Word Swag are not exactly what you would like. I mean, after all, we don't have mountains in Louisiana, so this might not be an applicable image. So you go back and you would say free photos, you would search. So this particular announcement is regarding computers, it's regarding Facebook Live. So let's search for computer. And when you search for computer, you'll see that it's searching through two different sources, Unsplash and Pixabay. Unsplash.com and Pixabay.com are two websites that have copyright free images that any of us could use and we're not violating the law. So this is very, very helpful. It's one of the reasons why I really, really, really like Word Swag. So we're looking at a variety of different computer images and we go down here and we select one that would work. Let's say this one and we hit next. And now we have join us for Easter services live on Facebook. Now you see, if I move it over here, you're not gonna be able to see it. So if you keep it in this corner, you can come down here and click the dice 
Now what the dice does is it just gives you a different style inside the same style, if that makes sense. So let's add another version of text here. All right, so let's go down here and add the name of your church. And so now you have First United Methodist Church down, down in the bottom of the image. Now this could also be the URL, but I'm assuming that the URL would be tagged somewhere inside Facebook, but maybe not. Maybe this would be your particular URL. So that is a way to add a second layer of text. One more tip, if you hit save, it's going to be in your camera roll, as you can see here, hit close. You can add your logo. A little bit of a bug with Word Swag. You have to do this after you save the image. And now you have a logo. On this particular case, it's the conference logo that you can slide into the corner of your image and brand your image. Hit save. So now your image is located inside your camera roll and it's ready to share on your social media channel of choice. So I hope this app helps you out in your ministry. Three final tips to pass along to you. Number one, keep it simple. I know, it's, it's exciting. There's so many options. There's so many different things that you can put. Keep it simple. The fewer the words, the better. Keep it simple. Second tip, don't steal images. I know it's really easy to just go on the internet and grab an image. You can't do that. That's stealing. You are not allowed to do that. Inside Word Swag, they use two sources for images, Unsplash and Pixabay. Both of them are websites that you can go to that have images that are copyright free that you can use. We'll include uh, links to both of those, Unsplash and Pixabay, in, uh, in the links for this video. We'll keep them down below somewhere here. Unsplash.com and Pixabay.com. And finally, whatever you do, do not under any circumstances, and I don't think it's available in word swag for good reason don't ever use these fonts comic sans and papyrus just just pretend that they don't even exist you, you just don't want to do it I, I don't think they even exist in word swag i know they don't because they're bad fonts so if you're going to create something just avoid these it's just it's just better if you do all right have a great day everyone we'll see you soon